Hi everyone, it's Dan from Literary Gladiators. Now, how many of you have always wanted to see fairy tales in real life? <coughs> it's kind of something we've all really wanted, especially growing up with Disney movies. Well, a TV series came out a few years ago, which recently ended this year. Came up with the thought of what happened if fairy tale characters were real and came to our world. That show is none other than Once Upon a Time. So it's kind of obvious that with the show that ran for several years, things that they're bound to be some books. The first book is Once Upon a Time, Shadow of the Queen. This uh, story explains not how the Huntsman's heart was taken, that was explained in the show, but explains what happened after his heart was taken. And basically, we see characters such as Snow White, Red Riding Hood, and all that. It explains what happens when the Huntsman's heart was taken by the evil queen and what she had him do. And how her revenge for Snow White uh, <coughs> truly shows how far she's willing to go. Alright, this story is very interesting. Uh, there are four chapters to it, so it's kind of short. But uh, each of the chapters are done by a different artist. Uh, uh, so there's different art styles for every chapter. I do not like the artwork in chapter two, though. So if that's a big problem for you, uh, kind of like, you know... Kind of this. Well, that's, that's chapter three. Alright, uh, some artwork, such as chapter two, is not really my cup of tea, but other than that, the thing is, it's a really good book, and uh, all these different parts put together make a really good story about the Huntsman. So, if you want to know more about the Huntsman, uh, definitely pick up this book. And in case you're wondering where this takes place in the timeline, it takes place between episode three and episode ten. You know, after episode three is where this takes place, and before episode ten. Alright, and that's for the Enchanted uh, s uh, Forest flashbacks. Next one on our list is... Out of the Past. This is uh, the sequel to Shadow of the Queen, except this one doesn't have uh, a connective story. This one explains three, four different stories of four popular characters from the series. You have uh, Captain Hook, Rumpel and Belle, the Mad Hatter, and the Evil Queen Regina. Right, these stories take place pretty far in the past of all the characters. For example, Captain Hook still has both his hands, and he was known as Captain Jones at the time. All right, the other story, Rumpel and Bell, explains what happened beginning in the beginning of the episode four and at the end of it. So it takes place in between the episode because that one spanned over several years, and explains what happens with Bell at Rumpel Stilskin's castle. Next one is Regina. That one is kind of hard to tell where that one takes place, but it basically deals with her dealing with her past and some regrets she may have. And the last one, which is absolutely my favorite, is the one about the Mad Hatter, because it tells a story that we kind of forgot about and ignored for a long time in this series. Alright, when Regina first found the Mad Hatter, he had already retired and left uh, and stopped using his hat to travel to different realms because of something that happened in Wonderland. This book tells a story of what happened to the Mad Hatter when he first visited Wonderland for the first time. Uh, definitely a good book. Uh, they're both graphic novels, so the thing is I would say pick them both up if you get the chance. Next one is Red's Untold Tale. Uh, this book explains Red's past when she was a teenager, and I just have to say, this book was disappointing. Yeah, kind of surprising that I'd be doing a bad book review. But truly, this book was just a disappointment all around. All right, there's 200 pages in this that I feel could have been cut. The story doesn't really start to pick up until page 233, so it's like half your book that you're just reading a bunch of this boring stuff of her day-to-day -day life. Literally, do we really need to know about her daily chores? I don't feel like that's necessary. The only thing I found in the little bit bit interesting is that she is how she met Peter who was her boyfriend but you know their relationship of how they got together wasn't really all that interesting to begin with all right it's kind of just like she liked him she asked him out then they started going out you're writing a book you should make it more interesting than that also the most interesting part about Red's story if you've ever seen the show is Werewolves, right? That's the most interesting thing about her story. However, they're only hinted at in the book, 
and never really seen again. Alright, there's a part where Red dreams about werewolves chasing her, and the part where somebody mentions how Wolf killed a villager and some stuff like that. But we never actually get to see the werewolves, and that I only have a small mention in the book. And one of the things that really bothers me about this is that the book requires you to see the show. Alright, there's some stories in here that don't have a conclusion. And the conclusion is in the TV series. I understand that you're trying to find a way to connect it to the TV series because that's what it's a, it's a book that's based on a TV series. But I th it doesn't need the book to stand on its own. You have to see the TV series in order to read this book and to me, that just seems like lazy writing, uh, honestly. Uh, it's definitely very disappointing. I wouldn't spend your money on it. I mean, if you're a big fan of the series, you can go ahead and pick it up. But I would say rent it for the library or find a way to get it for free. You know, honestly, this book was just a, a huge disappointment. And it just adds nothing new to the lore from what we are right now. <coughs> Next one is Regina Rising. This is written by the same author who wrote Red's Tale. Uh, but this one is actually really good. This one uh, explains Regina back when she was 16 years old, I believe they say in this book. Alright, <coughs> and this book just has an amazing story all around. Like, we thought we knew everything about Regina, but this adds more to it. And it contains a unique twist at the end that's actually pretty sad, uh, I would admit. And definitely shows you how evil her mother, Cora, really was. Uh, this features a new character known as uh, Claire, who isn't just meant to be a companion to the protagonist, she's actually a well-developed character and has her own backstory and goal set in mind. Uh, Regina, things about her past are explained here, All right, like how she met Daniel the stable boy, and also uh, something that was finally put into canon was how she got the scar on her upper lip. If you ever watched the show, you would know that the character Regina has a scar on her upper lip. But that's because the actress herself actually has a scar. Uh, so they actually put that into the character by explaining in this book how she got the scar on her upper lip. If you want to know how that happens, I suggest reading, definitely reading this book. And I'm a big fan of Regina, so I absolutely love uh, the fact that there's a book about her. And truly shows uh, how she became this sweet, innocent girl to becoming... The evil queen, you know, because those two are just like black and white, definitely. Uh, but yeah, if you're a huge Regina fan, definitely pick up this book. And uh, yeah, it's a definitely good read. Uh, that's all the ones I have that I don't own every book. There's uh, two I do not own. There's Henry and Violet and uh, Unique Pers and the other one's called like Magical Place or something like that. I haven't read that one yet. Uh, but... Yeah, those are all the books based on what's in my time. I would recommend Shadow of the Queen, Out of the Past, and Regina's and Regina Rising. I would say skip Red's Untold Tale. I would just uh I would definitely recommend uh these three. Alright. I would say skip this one. It doesn't really offer anything. If you really wanna read it, go right ahead, I'm not gonna stop you. But uh honestly it's it's very disappointing. Uh but yeah, these these three are definitely the ones worth reading, and the thing is, uh, are, def are really good. Uh, <clears throat> if you're a fan of this TV series like I was, definitely pick up the books. Alright, that's how I usually got into them in the first place. Uh, until next time, keep reading.